<laughs> Greetings from Santa Monica. Thanks for joining me here in my kitchen. Chocolate is what I used to dye this clothing and I'm very happy with the chocolate. Not as happy as I was with wine, which is still my reigning favorite, but chocolate was pretty darn good. This is the number one piece that I was focused on because it's a beautiful, beautiful, I don't know, kind of like a poncho from Free People. And it was gifted to me by a dear friend, Susan. Thank you, Susan. But it was mustard yellow and I can't wear yellow. Yellow and olive skin do not go well together. I look ill. So I wanted to make it brown and I'm very happy with how it turned out. And now I can wear it and it doesn't make me look sick. And then I'm wearing a pair of capri pants that were beige, really boring beige, and now they're chocolate brown. And I'm gonna show you how those turned out. I like this much better than when it was mustard yellow. And then look at the pants. We are really happy with the modeling that happened. Darker patches, lighter patches. I asked my daughter if I should get another bottle of the chocolate brown and re-dye them so that it would be more uniform. And she said no. She said she liked it. So we decided to keep it this way. And they're really fun. These pants, I was not even planning on dyeing, but once I saw how great the chocolate was turning out, I ran upstairs and grabbed these pants, which were ivory with ivory floral embroidery. And this is how they turned out. So I'm very happy with this. And the last thing that I dyed was this t-shirt. This t-shirt was white. I did not need a white t-shirt, but I needed a chocolate t-shirt. And so this is how it turned out. All right, got my apron, so my clothing is safe. And all the dye is going in. Ooh, splash. I tried to dump it in gently, but it still splashes. Look at that. Okay, I fill this up with hot water out of the sink. And look, there's a lot more dye in there. Straight in. Metal spoon, so I can stir it. It's almost like you're making a soup. Just making sure that the fabric gets all saturated. Oh, that white t-shirt will be so much better. Cocoa brown. Chocolate, 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 chocolate. Chocolate. So dying in a big pasta pot with two, maybe two and a half tea kettles full of boiling hot water one whole bottle of dye, and then you put in enough clothing that you can still stir the clothing like you're making some soup. Squeeze that out after 20 minutes, put it in a bowl on the side, add more clothing, but don't add more water because that will dilute the dye. Stir it up every once in a while for 20 minutes, squeeze it out, put it in a big bowl, and then go throw it all in a washing machine, wash it on hot water, delicate cycle, get any residual dye out so that you don't sit on a white couch or sit on your ivory leather seats in your car and end up with color transfer. So make sure you wash everything really well after it's dyed. And then you'll be happy. I'm very happy with my chocolate. And if you didn't see my wine dyeing video, check out the wine dyeing video because chocolate and wine go really well together. As always, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you learned a lot and I look forward to seeing you next time. Have fun dyeing. Bye.